Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, of GMS, and rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Hey, this is GMS. Stop and listen. Uh, the brother preacher Kyle come with another short lesson. I was looking through the net. It says China warns U.S. about planting missiles in the area. So United States, they want to uh, bring their weaponry, uh, the weaponry that they have close to the borders of the basically the uh, the uh, say enemy, so to speak. They want to position their weapons so they could have a, a, an effect if it's time for when it's time for this war. You know, they don't want to be trying to shoot ICBMs from United States over to the other side. They just want to be able to plant them nearby, which I was thinking, like, where can they really plant them? China warned them, like, y'all can't come in the area. But you have Japan, which is, I think, an ally of America. But when, when it all comes down to it, when you go back into Genesis, the 19th chapter, Moab and Ammon are, are brothers. So the so-called Chinese, so-called Japanese are brothers, man. So, you know, in, in the end, the Lord basically probably going to put the spirit on them. Hey, they all going to turn against the whore when you read in Revelation 17 chapter. You know, so China is telling them, hey, y'all can't, y'all ain't put no, no uh, weapons here. So um, when you read in Habakkuk 2, um, I'll just, uh, I start at three. It says, for the visions are yet for appointed time. The visions are the prophecies. prophecies. They are for appointed time, but at appointed time, these prophecies are going to take place. They've always taken place at appointed times, and they will in the future. But at the end, they shall speak and not lie. Because the prophecies talk about uh, America, Babylon, the great being destroyed, right? By basically, uh, when you read in the 17th chapter, basically by uh, NATO, man, and the enemies and the people of NATO. So America is going to be basically destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. And the Lord has said it. He has showed different prophets. And it's not going to lie. It's going to speak at the end. Thou, though it tarry, wait for it. it seems like it's delaying you know we want we want this to end like now but the lord's thoughts are not our thoughts his ways are not our ways his chess game is more at a higher level than what we can ever imagine the way he do things so the lord is, is putting this whole thing together for the destruction of america and it's going to happen because it it says wait for it so we got to have patience Here's the patience and the faith of the saints, man. The saints are the Israelites, right? It says, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. It's not going to delay. When that time comes for it, that, that prop these prophecies of nuclear destruction to speak, and they're going to speak, and they're going to speak with a loud voice, man. So when that time comes, you know, it says, behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. This is talking about Esau, right? Esau is has no faith, is no uh, a repentance for Esau, right? He sold his birthright, and, and he is the devil that the Bible speaks of. It says, but the just shall live by faith, meaning who they elect, right? And Esau is, is that same person who no, no repentance is given to him. He is the wicked that the Bible speaks of in Malachi, the border of wickedness, man. Everywhere, when you read through the scriptures, everywhere Esau has had a, had, had his place in 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 any society has always been killings and murders, treachery and backstabbers. Read in the book of the Maccabees, man. It gives a clear picture of the treachery that Esau has brought, you know, even against him himself. That's why the Most High is going to have Russia, who are Edomites also, play a big part in the destruction of America. It says, yea, also because he transgresses by wine, right, the, the philosophies. He is a proud man, neither keeping at home. So he don't keep at home. He trying to bring his whipper to somebody else's backyard to set up shop in somebody else's spot. You know, that's how drug dealers do. 
I'm going to take over this block. That's the mentality he has, man. You know, bring my bring my product here. That's the same mentality Esau got, man. You want to bring his weapon in. China's like, y'all not bringing it in the area. We're going to warn you. You know, they have so many weapons right now deployed. I think America has something like 1,800 missiles deployed. And China probably like close to 300. But they probably have a little more than that. They have more than that, but they're just the ones that they have deployed. And uh, it says, who enlarges his desires as hell and his death, man, because everywhere they go, everywhere you look in the scriptures where Esau has been, it's always been death, man, to uh, especially dealing with Israel. It's always been death to us, man. They helped the Babylonians out when you go into Maccabees. They, each, they helped each other out. They made leagues with us, said they wouldn't mess with us as soon as Soon as we the, the next uh, uh, emperor took over, man, they backstabbed Israel. It's always been Esau going against Israel, man. You know, and it says, and cannot be satisfied who gathered unto him all nations, man. He want all these nations. He's always in somebody's country doing something, trying to trying to bribe and get them on on his side. But it's gonna turn on him, man. It tells you in Revelation, just read Revelation seventeen. It's a beautiful chapter. You know, and, and he put up unto him all people, man. So, hey, man, Esau is trying to, China is warning, stay away, stay away. In this article, in this uh, video, this is about a three or four minute video, so I'm going to play some of it and, uh, you know, just check it out. of the INF Treaty is quickly paving the way for new missile site testing and ultimately, a, possibly a new arms race. The most recent case involves the United States and its allies in the Asia-Pacific region, but China says it's having none of that. RT correspondent Saya Tavinger is live for us in studio and bringing us all the details. Saya? That is right. China is warning it will not stand idly by if the U.S. deployed ground-based missiles to Asia. This, as a trade war and strained relations, are fueling fears of a new arms race between Beijing, Washington, and Moscow. U.S. Defense Secretary Mark Esper is currently touring the Asia-Pacific region and discussing the United States' ambitions of deploying new missiles in the region. Esper made stops in Australia and Japan and will now visit South Korea. These three countries, by the way, are the same ones Beijing warned the U.S. to avoid hosting missiles. And while all three are key U.S. allies, they could also consider China as its largest trading partner. One Chinese official delivered this warning to the U.S. We call on the U.S. to exercise restraint. And I also want to make one point absolutely clear that um, China will not stand idly by and we forced to take countermeasures should the U.S. deploy uh, intermediate range ground-based missiles in this part of the world. Beijing has not specified what countermeasures they would take in response to U.S. missile deployment. China has, however, announced that it has no interest in arms control talks with the U.S. and Russia, which contradicts a previous statement made by President Trump. Uh, if we could get a pact where they reduce and we reduce nuclear, that would be a great thing for the world. And I do believe, I do believe that'll happen. We've done, we have discussed it. I've also discussed it with China. I've discussed it with President Putin. I've also discussed it with China. And I will tell you, China was very, very excited about talking about it. And so is Russia. Now, a top Russian official has also said that they could not see ways to involve China in its arms control talks with the U.S. The Americans mentioned that it would be good if the IMF treaty is multilateral and mentioned China as one of the potential parties. But we know that China said they don't want to take part in the process. And why China only if we are talking about a multilateral treaty? Why aren't the U.K. or France taken into account? 
He also added that they invited the U.S. to see the Russian missile themselves before Washington pulled out of the INF Treaty, but the U.S. has refused their invitation. The Trump administration has argued that the Russian-American arms agreement are outdated in the context of a rising China and that formally pulled out of the INF Treaty last month on the grounds of Russian violations, in which Moscow has repeatedly denied. Now, many perceive the real reason that the U.S. pulled pulled out of the INF was the need to counter China's advances in missile technology and restore a balance in light of lingering questions over the effectiveness of the anti-missile defense system. Currently, China has an estimated 290 nuclear warheads deployed, compared with 1,600 for Russia and 1,750 for the U.S. Russian President Vladimir Putin has called for urgent arms control talks to prevent a chaotic arms race following the treaty's demise. Manila, back to you. So, Proverbs 20 and 24, man's goings are of the Lord. How, how can a man then understand his own way? How can you understand your own way? These people are, they're backing out of these treaties. You know, America's backing out of the IMF treaty. Because why they're proud, they, they they have they have that proud uh um attitude that they are the superpower of the earth. They feel like everybody needs them. What more to have a real arrogant person as this uh the spokesman for your country like Trump, man? He's very arrogant. But these Edomites, like I said, they're gonna be going against each other when you read in Isaiah the nineteenth chapter, the second verse, man. So how these people don't even understand the moves that they're making. Because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is controlling them, right? You read in Job, Job, uh, this is a scripture we all know. But it's a heavy scripture, man. It says, Job 33 and 15, in a, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep fall upon men and slumber upon their beds, then he open the ears of men and seal it their instructions man so these men these different nations the leaders the most high is 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 actually your 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 puppet master and he's putting he's downloading the the uh the code in your in your brains every night before you wake up to the moves that you're going to make that is going to culminate to thermonuclear destruction man you know and with that man i hope this short lesson was edifying all praises, honor, glory be to the, the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekaha Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. GMS, stop and listen. Shalom.